Today, let me explain about parasitic plants. Parasitic plants. Most green plants can make their own food, but some plants which are non-green due to the absence of chlorophyll, they obtain the nutrition from other host plants. Let's see some host plants which gets nutrition from other plants. These parasites are classified into two types: total parasitic plants and partial parasitic plants. First I'll explain what is parasitic plant. Parasitic plant is a plant that derives some or all of its nutritional requirements from another living plants. There are two classification of parasitic plants. One is total parasitic plant, another one is partial parasitic plants. The total parasitic plant is a plant that depend entirely on the host plant including their shelter, water, food and all their requirements. Let's see few examples of total parasitic plants. Rafflesia, Cascuta, Balanophora. These are the plants depend on the host plants. Let me explain you about Rafflesia. Rafflesia is a beautiful plant. It full and full depend on the host plant. It grows from the lower stem of the host plant. This plant looks very beautiful with the endorous flower. Yeah, let's see what is Rafflesia. It is a total parasitic plant. The species have endorements flowers. The buds rising from the ground or directly from the lower stems of their host plants. The second example of total parasitic is cascuta plants that do not perform photosynthesis and they completely depend on their host for nutrition. Such plants looks like non-green thread like yellow plant which develops a special small roots called osgeria. This helps to observe water and nutrition from it. The cascuta plant is commonly known as daughter plant. It will not perform photosynthesis. It will fully depend on the host plant. It looks like non-green yellow plant which develop a special root called Osteria. The final example of total parasite is Balanphoria. Balanphoria is a total parasitic plant which attached to the roots of the host plants or on the ground to get its nutrition. This plant will fully depend on the host plant to get its nutrition and water. Let's see few facts. Bonophora is the total root parasitic. It attaches to the roots of the plant and absorbs water and nutrition from the soil, thus restricting the plants from absorbing water and nutrition. The second type of parasitic plant is partial parasitic plant. The partial parasitic plant is depend on water and nutrition from their host plants. Their green leaves helps to do the rest of their job. Example of partial parasitic plants are Mislatua and Laurentheses. Mislatua. Mislatua and Laurentheses will prepare their food but depend for food and nutrition. Let me explain about Mislatua. Mislatua is a partially parasitic plant. This plant have a green leaves and they make their own food but they derive the part of the nutrition from the host plant. It mainly grows on the wood of the tree and it looks very beautiful with red flowers and white fruit like thing. Let me explain a few things about Mislatua. Mislatoia is depend on a tiny bird called flower picker to disperse its seeds. This makes a Mislatoia a partial parasite. It grows on another plants and trees and draw only a raw material from the host plant. The second example is Laurentus. Laurentus is also a partially parasitic plant. These plants may have green leaves and they make their own food. They also depend on another host plant for their nutrition and water. They get enough nutrition and water from another plant and with that they can prepare their own photosynthesis.
Let me explain a few facts about Lorenthus. Lorenthus can perform photosynthesis but depends on the host plant for material required for photosynthesis. They suck by using a roots called Hostoria.